For today's project, I'm going to turn this ugly old tower into a custom built game station. I'm going to chop this up, make it to where everything fits. Because these days, you don't need any of this crap up here. And so I'm going to basically take this and stack it over this with this and then combine it all into one small tiny little cage like structure and uh, go from there. Because I already know there's going to be a ton of butt hurts about, oh, on the carpet, what about the statics? So I moved to the dining room table. And now I should be able to get the rest of this stuff apart without any static electricity discharge. So um, first I'm going to get the fans out. And then I'll pull the power supply, hard drives, other fans, and then lift the entire motherboard out. And then I'm going to modify this case as a shell so that I can put the motherboard back in and have support for the video card. So here we go. Now it's always a good idea for small wires like this to take a picture with your phone up close before you disconnect anything. That way you know exactly how to put it back together. Sweet. Now, we can get rid of these and start pulling the motherboard. So now I'm going to pull the IO shield and take this to the back and get to cutting. Okay, so I've modified the case to better accommodate the hardware the way I wanted to. Brought this wall in, basically made this wall out of the back case lid. Cut the fan shroud from back here out and tack welded it in. Also moved the hard drive cage over to here, tack welded it in. Should still be able to get everything in there, hopefully. About to test fit the power supply now, make sure everything fits, otherwise I've got some more modding to do. Okay, I'm pretty sure I've got everything connected properly. I'm going to plug it all up, install the operating system nice and fresh and clean, and uh, we'll see if it works. All right, so I got everything plugged back in. I think that's everything. I'm going to boot it up and see what happens. 
So far so good. Okay, looks like we got some success. Got into the boot menu, booted from my USB of Windows, and we're gonna see what happens. Oh, looks like it's working. All right, successfully installing. The plan is to finish the install to the 160 gig boot partition, and then I've got a 500 gig secondary hard drive that I'm going to install the games to, so then it will be a lot faster for processing and gaming. I'm running it on ethernet, also through HDMI to the TV, and then I'll have to set up my PlayStation 3 controller for uh, GTA 5. I think I'm gonna try DayZ, and uh, I also play Dirt Rally. So that's pretty much it. Looks like everything's gonna go smoothly. I'll uh, update back when I have everything running and operational with a video of that. So I finally got everything up and running. I'm installing Grand Theft Auto. Everything seems to be working right. I've even got the controller installed and operational, so I am ready to rock and roll. So that's how you make your own custom homemade Xbox One slash PS4. PC version I think is way better. The capabilities of the graphics are far beyond what a PS4 or Xbox One can do and you don't have to pay for internet access. So if you were thinking about making the switch, you can pick one of these computer towers up for a couple of hundred bucks. Any i5 or i7 quad core is gonna run these games at pretty high levels. You really only need about eight gig of RAM. Any of the aftermarket video cards is gonna work for you. I think I have maybe two, 300 bucks total invested in this whole tower. I customized it down the way I wanted it and now you see how it is now. So pick one up, Craigslist it, check it out. And uh, if you have any questions, write them down in the comments below. If you liked it, like it. If you want, subscribe. And as always, keep modding.